Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Jeffrey Burchard once again at your service for a fantastic video exhibition of our upcoming January 31st auction. Coming out of the gate at lot 1244, Emmanuel Carbonell, Cuban artist, is represented in the sale. Three works of art for one price, selling at lot number 1244. And there's the Mercedes desk, our old favorite standby. Everybody talks about the desk, and you'll see it if you come down this weekend. Here is lot number 1084, a, a case, a lifetime collection of miniature sad irons. And coming up right after we sell those sad irons is the case itself. Lot number 1058 is a rare Susan Gott art glass sculpture. And at lot number 1098 is a Kanabi grand, or baby grand piano. This is a disc player piano. We'll tell you more about that shortly when we hear it play later on in the preview. Lot 1229, a sheet painting, no signature, 19th century, very interesting. We know you'll love that. And at lot number 1478, a James Kramer, work of art, a snow scene. Lot 1213, a 24 drawer Hamilton oak cabinet, specimen cabinet that is. And at lot 1345, you'll see the Lewis I card etching, spilled apples. Lot number 1080, an 18th century cherry drop front desk, one of the best we've seen. And right next to it, lot 1449, is a very tall Balinese carving. Here's that piano we were talking about, playing all by itself. Now, if you made a video recording from the other side and sat at the keyboard, it would look like you were a star. It plays CDs, it plays uh, uh, discs that comes with it. Lot number 1031. A Handel Hawaiian sunset ceiling chandelier and a John Doyle acrylic oil on canvas entitled Yellow Pollen Dancer at lot 1275. Star of the show so far that we can see set in the garden at the house here, lot number 1014, a carved marble sculpture, very detailed, signed Fagioni. Here's a sneak preview as you walk in, coming up what's in our February 27th and 28th auction. Incidentally, we're taking consignments for that sale. We are Burchard Galleries, Antiques and Fine Arts auctioneers in St. Pete. We'll give you the number in just a short second while I show you lot number 1051, the Chinese carved abdiger, inlaid, bone inlaid, and profusely carved, I might say. Lot number 1080 is the Spillman, Herschel Spillman horse. Coming up, just one second. There's your Spillman horse. And lot number 1132A, Vladimir Yaffe. This is a, wor a world of uh, works, a world progress uh, artist, uh, and it showed at the Met and the Whitner and the Pennsylvania Academy of Fine Arts. Lot uh, number 12, uh, 1451 is a Louis Vandekar coming up as well. We have a few works by this artist, a uh, North Florida artist in the auction that's entitled Women. Uh, 1243, another Carbonell Cuban artist in the sale. James Northcote, lot number 1190, you're going to be seeing in just about one second, like right now, there's the Northcote as we round the corner. The James Northcote, lot number 1190, and there she goes. I know you've been waiting, so here it is, lot number 1190, a beautiful oil on canvas, nice serene lake scene. Right below it, this one's unsigned, lot number 1191. There's a beautiful oriental chest at 1264 as we go through the sale, previewing the auction on January 31st, beginning at 12 noon here at Burchard Galleries, 2528 30th Avenue North. Look at this richly carved side cabinet, lot 1017. Early in the sale, number 17, the 17th item to go across the auction block, and right below it is a Glen Bastion, a Cordoba, Mexico oil on canvas. 18th century cherry high boy, lot number 1081. You can come in about an hour after after we start and still have a chance to get this beauty. Lot 1181, this is a Hassam A. Rashami uh, acrylic on canvas. You'll, you'll see in just one second. And uh, we do have quite a few works by this artist in the sale. There's the Abrashami painting right there. Lot number 1181. Of course, Oriental Ancestral watercolor pictures. Lot number 1443 in the sale is an oriental screen there it is inlaid and it is two pieces lot 1443 very unusual shape this is the 1948 bally carnival pinball machine as you see functioning before your very eyes lot 1142 in the auction no minimum no reserve 1948 bally pinball and right around the corner look at this going into the back room ladies and gentlemen what a spread we have for you january 31st 12 noon we're going all afternoon 550 lots and you're 
you're going to see at lot number 1052, a pair, not one, but two carved oriental etagers. It's going to be panning to the right as soon as we, uh, uh, well, there's the jewelry. We'll get to that in just a second. Hang on tight. we got a 16-minute video. There's the etagers, one and two. Lot number 1052, selling the pair. And at lot number 1007, the Famille Verte carved hardwood side table right there with a nice Verte plaque inset in it. Pan across the room. It's an amazing shot. Look at that. Uh, this is a 10 by, I'm sorry, 10 by 21 Casvin carpet. Lot 1068 right there for your bidding pleasure. Lot number 1030. There's a beautiful, uh, um, well, we're going to show you the carved chair. Hang on one second. I'm out of order. Lots of Oriental in the sale. A tremendous estate from the Orlando area. No minimums, no reserves. Erte sculptures are in the sale around 1042. Lot um, uh, 1093, that beautiful carved table. And, of course, the chandeliers from the Bayfront Towers selling around lot number 1195, or 1095, I should say. 1095. 1095. There is a beautiful, um, let's see. This is an Atlantis sculpture. Poseidon Atlantis sculpture by Jerry Joslin. The the ruins of Atlantis, I should say. That sculpture is 40 inches high, lot 1156. Oriental carvings, Tansu chests, lot number 1101 will surprise you. There's cloisonne birds as well. Table tour shares throughout the sale. All that you see, 1 through 550, starting at 12 noon on January 31st. The preview is online now, BurchardGalleries.com. You can bid with us through live auctioneers or Invaluable. Click on those links on any of our pages on the catalog. Lot 1101, the Huda, the Hodota, Satsuma figural it is embossed satsuma jar you will see it and of course one of my favorite pieces in the sale coming up around that's the pink hardstone quartz more air taste. here is a miniature georgian salesman sample lot number 1082 look at that cute little chest lot 1082 the 82nd item will sell in the auction the Walter Bernard, look at the size of this 66 inches high by 98 inches you're going to see that in just one second. It's a Walter Bernard at lot number 1238. Just one moment ago, you saw a desk fit for a king. If you want to roll it back and see that carved Chinese desk, that's lot number nine in the sale, that big desk, in case you missed it. I kind of did. We went a little bit fast there. But this is live auction reality preview exhibitions here for you right here at Burchard Galleries. Look at this huge set of Heron China. We've got over 115 pieces of Heron China in the sale. And another marble top French ormolu mounted chest right there at lot number five. Lot number five, the fifth item. Lot number 25, another hit of the show. The Antonio Maria de Reina Mascal oil on canvas of a Venetian canal scene. The 25th item in the sale, everybody's favorite painting so far, lot number 1025. The elephant lamps are lot 1172. Never seen anything quite like that. Lot number 1012, the Arnoldo Zanella. You saw that clear glass sculpture of lovers. That's lot number 1012. Going through the sale, the Dominique Alonso. Take a look at this. The third item in the sale was that little sculpture of the bisque lady sitting on top of the marble chest running around uh, around the gallery again like crazy. We've got a rock'em sock'em sale for you. Look at this beautiful Auntie Timmy. This is Gloucester Harbor, 23 and a half inches tall by 28 inches wide. A beautiful oil on canvas, lot 1206 in the sale. We're just going to pan around the gallery a little bit. I know you uh, would love to come down and see what's going on at the gallery. You can come in at 10 a.m. in the morning. Burchard Galleries, 2522 and 2528 30th Avenue North. Our phone number, by the way, 727 821 1167. Lot number 1565, Fanny von Greiger. And right next to it, the Adrianos Zudervik. Lot number 1120. Theodore Geisel, you may know him as Dr. Seuss, a beautiful serograph, a rare serograph. Lot number 1110 in the auction. Lot number 1215, I'm sorry, 1015 coming up. We'll pan around to see, show you a few more pieces of the 150 works of art we have in the auction. Coming up, if you love, there's an Erte right there. It's entitled Ivories. Lot number 1015 in the sale, hold on to your socks. Lot number 1015, look at this cameo glass vase. Duncan McClellan, the red vase on the right side of your screen. That piece is 25 inches tall. Here is a, well, more China in the sale that we could uh, ever imagine. All to be sold. We are selling, uh, liquidating the estate of Howard Dodge. 
absolutely without minimum or reserve of any kind. Howard Dodge is in the auction. That estate from Orlando, the Oriental Carvings, a beautiful pond boat there. But right behind it, look at that three-piece. This is a Cargus oak bedroom suite from the Howard Dodge estate. The bed, the high back bed, the washstand with the tilt mirror, and you'll see the dresser coming up right there to the right. Three pieces, Cargus oak at its best. All right. From the Howard Dodge Estate, lot number 1317. These are very unusual. We did not, uh, well, a lot of calls on these. Blue and white jars, 26 and a half inches tall, oriental. And here is a Maitland Smith elephant box, lot number 1317. Another Dino Rosin sculpture, lot number 1028. This is a rearing cobra with the simulated diamond in its mouth. It's 20 inches tall. This is a nice Chelsea House uh, work of art on canvas there. The lady on the horse, the young lady on the horse. I know we must have passed by that serpent, but if you saw it and it looked like a snake, that is the Dino Rosen sculpture, 20 inches in height. Moving along, let's see what we have. Uh, there's the other chandelier from the Bayfront Towers. We do have wall sconces. We do have Baccarat quality chandeliers. They are remodeling our first high rise in St. Petersburg, Florida, the Bayfront Towers. You may know it as One Beach Drive. There are no minimums, nor are there any reserves on those chandeliers. There is the serpent I was talking about. That is lot number 1028. Notice that little diamond in his mouth there. That is 20 inches tall, the Dino Rosin sculpture. Here we go. Starting at lot 1016, we've got silver at its best. Very ornate sterling silver services. Candelabra, as you see. Here's a rare, if you love Belique. Oh, well, look at the Chinese silver. I forgot all about that. My goodness, folks, there's just so much to be seen here. There's that rare black mark, Belique uh, vase. And this one here at lot 1016 is a pool crest of Windsor sterling silver tea service. And at lot number one, the piece de resistance, there is a troika. This is a Troika silver gem set carriage and horses. This is a Hungarian made for the Russian market. This is 13 and a half inches wide on that sterling. And at lot number 12, 1270, the art glass, the Schneider Levere Francais glasses that you saw. Louis Barrius, lot 1011, the little bronze boy. Lot number 1233. This is the most interesting. This is a Confederate seal medallion in that most wonderful Gouda Percha case. Lot number 1233. That's 1862. And the Anton Chotka Austrian bronze, a Van Zederbrock, lot number 1032, the skater painting. Coming up at lot 1403, you'll see it very shortly. To the right side, coming up, an original olive oil. There she is by Bud Sagendorf, 32 inches high. There's olive. We'll come back to her in just a second. We have three Freed Pell paintings in the sale as well. 1038, 1039, and 1040. There's one Freed Pell. There's the olive oil, and we're moving on. There's some Gould etchings, if you like those etchings. We're going to have a great sale in the day tomorrow, lot uh, January 31st, beginning at 12 noon, Burchard Galleries, St. Petersburg, Florida. And what do we have coming up here? Firearms, paperweights. We've got Pershire, Clichy, Baccarat, and they're all in the sale later. Ladies and gentlemen, and there are no minimums, no reserve on our paperweight collections, sulfide paperweights and all. And hard stone medallions, a real popular item, lot 1466. Might even be some jade in there as well. There's some spinach jade we just went by. Here's a quarterback helmet, lot number 1140, with the signatures of many famous quarterbacks, Archie Manning, Y.A. Tittle, Steve Groga, Lynn Dickey. Lot number 1140A, you're going to see that in just about one second, and here it comes. Well, more silver to show you. Wow, we've got it. We've got silver. We've got Gorham, Grand Baroque, lot number 1013, the Grand Baroque, 115 pieces. Lot number 1123, the Elsa Peretti coming to the jewelry, an 18 karat gold. There's another Airte right there in the sale. Look up in the right-hand corner, an 18 karat gold. Elsa Peretti for Tiffany & Company, 18 karat gold tie-on necklace. And here is some, I got to tell you, Gold and diamonds, sapphire jewelry, medallions, diamond necklaces. But take a look at this. This is mega bling. Mega bling, lot number 1028A. Look at this 32-carat diamond necklace 
14 karat gold, over three ounces. Oh, my VS and clarity, GH and color. There's more diamond bracelets for you. Lots, lots of gold and silver in the sale today. On number 1014, a Cartier style earrings, platinum in platinum, 3.24 carats of diamonds in these nice little earbuds. Take a well, they're a little bit bigger than buds. Platinum diamonds and sapphires, Cartier style, and not to be outdone. Everybody would like to see a Rolex watch. It's lot number 1092. This is a 1988, 1989, 18 karat presidential watch and more Chinese artifacts in the sale. Folks, we hope you enjoyed the preview today. Well, holy cow, we're still going on. There's more, but come down and see us. Starting at 10 a.m. tomorrow, the preview, Burchard Galleries, Antiques and Fine Arts Auctioneers, St. Petersburg, Florida, 727-821-1167. See us at burchardgalleries.com. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow at the auction.